Good morning Charged Up and I. It's been quite a while since we had a video. Today I'm doing something that's a bit strange. I'm taking the car to Donegal. This is the longest journey I've done for a long time and I'm here now in Makara. Uh, it's 67% on my battery so I'm going to give it a bit of a charge for 20 minutes. This takes me up to Derry. Uh, one more quick charge in Derry and then I cross the border and the big test will be whether I can charge it in Bonkrana. If the NIE charge cards, which are supposed to work in the Republic, work, then I'm going to move from uh, Bonkrana to Carndona, and then uh, Mullen Head, then perhaps Greencastle on the way back. So it's my first um, electric journey for quite a while. I'm off today, so I'm going to go and uh, find a nice beach in, in Donegal and read my book. So uh, more to come later. One of the things that I've done in this journey is I've actually plotted in a few waypoints. I don't know if, how clearly you can see this, but my final destination will be Greencastle, which is 72 miles away. And you can kind of see it on the screen over here. I'm down here and I have to go up to Derry, cross the border, Bancana, and then Carndona. So I've never used this waypoint system before. And uh, it seems to be okay. Um, it doesn't show me where I need to charge, uh, but that's okay because I've got the, the journey pretty well researched. And that's one of the things that you need to do when you have an electric vehicle. You kind of have to do a little bit of homework. So I've got a, a contingency plan. Uh, Bonkrana is the, the, the kind of the linchpin number two in the map. If I can charge there and everything goes well in the Republic, then uh, the world's your oyster. But if not, then I'll have to sprint back to Derry and change my plans and perhaps go down to the west of Northern Ireland. So we'll see what happens. It's all an adventure. Uh, so I think with that, I've got a few percent left, five more minutes, and I'll be ready to uh, detach myself from this uh, super fast charger here at Makara at James's filling station. So there you go. Let's talk to you later. Well, we've just topped up and we're ready to rock and roll. 75 miles on the range. I'm going to uh, show a little bit of a video because I, I realize I don't do much, ever do much driving here. So, driving video. So, this lorry has parked very, very close to me. Um, and I want to record uh, the experience of driving up the Glenshane, the Glenshane Pass. Now, I've got 75 miles of range. The Glen Shane Pass is a very um, steep mountain, and I haven't managed to ever get up it without losing about five miles of range. So, this is going to be my, this is going to be my attempt now to drive as economically as possible. Try not to get the speed up too much without being annoying to the rest of the road users. Um, there is a crawling lane, so I'm going to stay in that, and I'm going to uh, bring this right down to uh, the two bars of energy in my in my little, uh, I don't know what it's called, there's a special name for it, but I can't remember. So I'm, I'm starting to climb up the hill, 36 miles an hour. I'm in the crawler lane behind the lorry, 74 miles, and already it's dropped down to 73. I'm going to really bring it right down without being a complete jerk on the road. So I'm driving at about 34 miles an hour, 73 miles of range, and I'm expecting it to drop about five unless I can really control it. So I'm going to bring it right down and drive about 30 miles an hour, which is a bit of a pain, right? 72. See, I just don't know how, you're, what you're supposed to do in an electric vehicle is hold your, acceler your accelerator at a certain level and then let the the engine pull it up. But I mean, there's really no polite way of getting up the Glen Chain without being, being a complete jerk and going at 20 miles an hour. Okay, it's dropped to 71. So I'm expecting another couple of miles of range to be lost. I'm driving only at 35 miles an hour at the moment. Um, and I'm kind of halfway up in my kind of virtual rev counter. Uh, this is a bit of a pain. It's no worries because I've got plenty of range, but it is annoying nonetheless. 
that if I drive on Glen Chain according to the electric vehicle kind of advice, I should be really crawling right down to about, oh, I don't know, about 20 miles an hour. I mean, I mean, how can you, how can you uh, really drive at 28 miles an hour? Especially if there isn't a crawler name. Fortunately, I have one. So I'm going to give a bit more juice. I think 33 miles an hour in the Glen Chain is a bit pathetic. So I'm going to give it a bit of juice. And I've already dropped to 67. So you can see that this, this mountain really does eat up the energy. Um, uh, of course, going down the mountain, I'll get it back, but, but it is a bit annoying. Um, and there is only, there is actually no no straightforward charge between here and Derry. And although there's, there, I have plenty of range left to get to Derry, it just, I, I'm just thinking if you hadn't, if I hadn't charged up on the hill, uh, at the bottom of the hill at, at James's garage, I don't know what I would have done. So, uh, something to keep in mind, uh, we're almost there at the Glen Chain. I, I kind of feel like uh, really, really going for it, but then that would be very reckless. <laughs> It's 45 miles an hour, 65 now of range, so I've lost quite a lot of range already, just, uh, and it's definitely, driving at, let's say, driving at about 40 miles an hour up the Glen Chain is, is showing an energy usage of about half, half my kind of rev counter, so, so there you go, it's a very, very right, I'm going to accelerate and get past this lorry and do everything I should do, because um, I don't want to be stuck behind it, there you go. And I floored it completely, and I'm going to go back now to the cruise control and drive about 59 miles an hour, which is a good, sensible rate. Yep, there I am, 59 miles an hour, and as I level out, you'll see the energy uh, usage dropping. Um, it's still showing a bit of energy because obviously there's a little bit of an incline here as we leave the Glen Chain. This is beautiful scenery, by the way. Uh, and it's a beautiful day. I'm really glad I took this journey. Um, and I think the ultimate, uh, I suppose, as I said, everything really hangs on whether the, the charging points in Von Krana work uh, and, and are compatible with my NIE card. If they are, then I'm going to have a ball of a time around Nilly Gall on this gorgeous day. Um, I came to read, but I think I may go for a walk because it is such a beautiful day. There's Ponderosa on the right, which is Ireland's highest bar and restaurant currently. Um, uh, but it's a, it's a beautiful, really beautiful place. And um, Anyway, that's all from me. Next stop will be, in a few, will be in a few miles, about 24 miles time in Derry. So talk to you later. Bye. Well, folks, hi again. Uh, stage two of our journey. It's about quarter to 11. Uh, I'm here charging up in Derry. This is one of my, uh, this is actually a uh, rapid charger number 11 on the network. I'm topping her right up, which so it'll be, take me 20 minutes to get it from about 67% right up, up top. Uh, and that will give me maximum range to go to Donegal, to the first big test in Bunkrana. And if that doesn't work, I have a range to get back safely and, and stuff. So so that's kind of what you need to do. I have a contingency plan as part of having an electric vehicle. So all well so far, I'm looking forward to getting across the border. The weather is okay. It's a bit cloudy, but it's there are patches of sunshine. And uh, I'm excited to see what is ahead. So let's see. Fingers crossed. And I'm going to pop into their office. I'm not working officially, but I will drop in just to say hi. Well, I've reached the first um, charge point I've ever seen in the Republic of Ireland. So it's familiar in shape to the ones in Belfast, but it's a different colour. Uh, it's in Bunkrana. So let's uh, see how it works. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, suffice to say, um, I've got a smile on my face, which means that obviously the charging has worked. It's a beautiful hot day. I'm up to 75 miles again, so I'm going to keep on going around the course, the, the, the coast with a bit of confidence now and um, get reading my book as I had planned. So had a nice chat to some, some guys from school. They're walking past and uh, we had a bit of a chat about electric vehicles, so that's kind of cool. 
Uh, moving on now to somewhere near uh, Mullen Head. See you later. Well, suffice to say, um, well, the scenery of this place is just unbelievable. Uh, you can see right over to the, the sea, the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, McGonagall Oil are parked in front. Some sheep just sitting there being cool. This is on the road to Cardona and it's really quiet and mossy bogland. Well folks, I've arrived um, safely back in Derry with my tour of Donegal. Um, it's uh, been pretty good, no problems. Enjoyed the weather. Only mistake I made was maybe leaving an hour or two later than I should have, but this gives me confidence about exploring the rest of Ireland as the charge points are working pretty well on both sides of the border. So last trip just charged up here in Derry at the same charge I charged this morning, 86 miles of range. 50 miles to go, that's going to be good, uh, so I'm going to nail it a little bit and get home uh, on time to do another another thing. So thanks for watching and um, tune in again soon. Bye!